In this video, I'm going to show you how a baby plate can be one of the most useful accessories that you have in your studio. Stay tuned. Hey gang, I'm not even sure where to begin because baby plates come in so many different colors like red and yellow. No, and no, 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 no. Not that kind of baby plate. This kind of baby plate. Or if we're going to be really technical, it's a baby pin wall plate. These little gadgets are simply awesome. They come to us from the world of set lighting and they're a key piece of grip equipment on any TV or movie set. But I want to show you how they can save you space and money in your own studio. Stay tuned until the end and I'll show you how to use them to make an awesome and inexpensive stand for your background light. So what the heck is a baby plate? Well, this is a baby plate. As is this and this. And if we're going to be picky, these are technically called baby pin wall plates. 5 8 inch baby pin wall plates to be exact. A baby pin looks like this. You can get them in different lengths from 3 inches to 9 inches, but they do make them longer. And while some have a simple end like this one, others have what's called a snap-in end like this that will fit into a Manfrotto super clamp or one of the many knockoffs of the super clamp. Now I could literally make a two hour video about baby pins and all of the variations and grip gear that is available for them. But for this video, we're going to stick with wall plates. After I posted this video tour of my home studio, a bunch of viewers asked what I was using to hang the video lights in my studio and a few very sharp viewers noticed the mono light that sits really close to the ground and wanted to know what kind of mount it was on. The answer, a 5 8 inch baby pin wall plate. So let's look at what these things are and why they're designed the way they are. A baby pin wall plate is actually a baby pin welded to a chrome plated steel plate. These plates generally have anywhere from 4 to 12 holes drilled depending on the manufacturer and they'll allow you to mount them to just about anything using simple screws or even nails in a pinch. The standard sizes are 3 inches, 6 inches and 9 inches. Now these aren't adjustable like a light stand so you'll generally use them in a situation where you want to mount a light permanently like these in my studio or even these in my office that I use for recording the last frame videos. Now you can also get baby plates with a 90 degree angle that when mounted on a vertical wall will give you more range with how you position your light. Now it's important to point out why the baby pins have this cutout on one end. It is a safety feature. When you mount your light on the baby pin, especially if you're hanging a light, regardless of how far your light will seat itself on the pin, you want to slide it on just far enough that you can tighten the screw down on the recessed portion of the pin. This way in the event that you haven't tightened it properly or that it loosens, the light is not going to fall off and break or worse yet, hit someone. This front edge will catch the tightening screw of your light. It is also important to note that if you're going to hang your lights, you should secure them with a wire cable or for a simple and cheap alternative, you can use cable ties. Hey, if you're enjoying the video, please take a second and hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And when the video is over, if you really enjoyed it, please share it with your photography friends. I'm counting on your support to help grow this channel. When you're going to put heavy and expensive gear up in the air, you can never be too safe. You can find these baby pin wall plates at online stores like B&H or Adorama, or of course you can help to support this channel and order them through the Amazon links in the description below. A 3 inch wall plate will range in price from about $17 to $60 depending on the manufacturer and how many holes are drilled in the plate. I can tell you that for the type of equipment I'm hanging with these plates, I've had no issues at all with the less expensive versions. I promised you a DIY light stand made with a baby plate. In the movie and TV industry they call this a pigeon stand because of its low to the ground perspective. Pigeon stands are awesome for mounting background lights or even a medium sized softbox for the bottom half of a clamshell lighting setup. The build on my pigeon stands was simple and quick. I purchased one 12 inch by 36 inch white laminate shelf from my local Home Depot. I cut it into three 12 inch sections which gave me three 12 by 12 pieces of white wood. Then I simply screwed the baby plate wall mounts onto the shelf, covered the edges with silver duct tape and then added felt furniture sliders to the bottom. And there you have it, a pigeon stand. 
In this scenario, I'm just using a flash bracket, but you can get a cap for the baby plate that has a quarter 20 thread that will mount directly into the camera, or better yet, into a tripod head so that you have tilt controls. So there you have it, short pigeon light stands for less than $20 each. So get to work, gang. Make yourself some new stands and get shooting. Because your best shot, it's your next shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and share them with your photography friends. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you have a question that you would like answered, post it in the comments section below. Your question could be my next video.